all time, but yet the first time they have both been ranked when they have met on the court. It is a great, great crowd on hand here in Boulder today. Over 5,000 expected and counting, and we are off and running the tip up, and it belongs to the home team in the Colorado Buffaloes. They're on a set offense down low. We're going to see a fast-paced game today, Elise, and it's going to start with a three from Foreman. Can't get it to roll. And Alyssa Peely comes up with her first board of the day. Oh, look at Sherrod right away. This is one thing that you cannot take your eyes off the basketball because you're going to have attack on both sides between the white jerseys and the red jerseys. Well, and it's fun to see who is coming out guarding who in this player-to-player -player defense. Looks like Foreman is going to be guarding the point guard here today for Utah, Inesh Vieta. Vieta goes to her left, kicks it back to Peely. She fakes and loses the ball, and the paint keeps it with the Utes. Now the shot clock down to single digits. We're not going to see that much today. These two teams like to run and gun. At four, Peely's going to have to shoot. She does it one-handed off the glass with one second remaining. You score first. And look at Vonley running the floor. And they will say that uh, does not get that position first. You cannot stop her one-on-one. -on -one. Jenna Johnson picked up the foul. And there's an off-ball foul coming as well. And this is going to go... On Alyssa Peely, she has so much confidence right now. They don't want her to get into foul trouble, and early on the board, she has one. Well, Vonley averages 15 points per game, and that is who Peely's matched up with as she takes it away. Yeah, Foreman passing it right into the hands of 35 for the Utes. Peely's a threat up top, and of course, when she drives, she's doing that on Aaronette Vonley, playing tough defense. Johnson with the dribble drive, and a bunch of buffs swarm her. How about Jalen Sherrod coming up with a steal and completes the bucket? Sherrod's quickness is such a factor, turning defense into offense. Drive inside, up and over Foreman, and Vieta with her first points. Love that, the junior who's a southpaw going with her right hand. Ernest Von Ley turns and shoots and she has range. That is the first three attempted on the season by Von Ley, but trying to pull Peely out of the paint. Sadler's hands all up in the mix. Peely underneath and the reverse doesn't go. Von Ley fighting for it, it comes up with the buffs, Peely on the ground, late to get up, and she trails. So see you with numbers, Von Ley connects. On the other end, quick in transition, a big stuff. Von Ley coming off five career blocks against Northern Colorado. Now look at her run the floor, one into the next, puts the laying in and then back to block the shot. And J.R. Payne said that in line to in line, you run them, there's only one player that can compete with Vonley, and that is her, Jalen Sherrod. Sherrod. <laughs> yeah, a few possessions to go. Whew, fast tempo here. Peely really fortunate she did not get called for her second personal. Peely charging in on Aaron at Vonley. Plays her straight up. Peely's so good at ball movement and getting it inside. Well, that spin move is lethal. If you lean one direction when you are checking Peely, she can spin away from you quickly. Nice feed to Sherrod. How about the and one opportunity? Charlotte Whitaker, what an assist. And they made that run to the Sweet 16, going on the road in the tournament and beating Duke. And such a great job both of these have done. And it took some time. Both Colorado and Utah are playing at a extremely high level. Well, the game was what we expected so far. A lot of back and forth. And defense definitely going to count here. Sherrod completed the three-point play on the other end and a three-point lead for the Buffs. And a wide-open lane. Dribbling around with seven on the shot clock. She drives it and stopped by all six-foot-eight of so. And her the Utes in transition. The floater pass picked up by Sadler for the steal. Now Sadler's a ball hawk. You let that one that high, she's going to pick it every time. And Smith off the glass. So right now, a key moment in this game. So many players off the bench playing critical minutes. Sadler got held up on the screen, and Wilkie picks her ball up under the basket to turn it over once. 
Gonley and Sherrod back in the game for the Buffs. Sherrod inside. Nice spin move. Got it. Jalen Sherrod leads all scores with seven. <laughs> Sherrod putting the, side, the hand down saying, you're too small to guard me. Now, that's funny because she's all of 5'7". <laughs> Playing big, though, today. Playing big. Peely works it away. And Arnett Von Ley just straight up underneath. Peely always finds magic into the hoop, it feels like. And she's so creative with using the glass when she's in that paint. Ross, the freshman in the game, and that's going to go the other way. It's been a point of emphasis for sure in the women's game this year. One dribble and a spin move too high over the basket. And there's Kendall Weta. That's the difference she makes. She does not give up on a play, and she keeps it with the buffs. Sherrod on the drive. She gets fouled. Jalen Sherrod had 16 points their last outing against Northern Colorado. First ever game she played at Colorado, 11 assists, and she has been lighting it up ever since. One of the main reasons why J.R. Payne in Colorado is now a top 20 program. Three points, and you hear the crowd. The to used her elbow. No call there. Through the lane, and a block call underneath is Maddie Nolan. Yeah, she had struggled a bit from the three-point line. Three against Southern Utah. A couple versus Weber State. Looking to feed in the paint, finds Maddie Nolan on the perimeter, and Sarah Rose Smith cutting but loses the ball. And the quickness of Vieta getting there and disrupting. White for three, and as you mentioned it, she scored the last five for the Utes. They nice. take the lead. To have somebody coming off your bench that can provide that scoring punch. That could be Kendall Weta for the buffs, and she just finds the basketball. An absolute magnet for it sometimes. Gets it right back, and it looks like the Buffs are going to be able to take the last shot if they want here in the quarter. Five steals for Colorado in the first half. That quickness has really been a factor. Five seconds to go. Sherrod with the ball. Inside to Nettie. Off the glass. She gets the roll as the buzzer goes here. One quarter in between these rivals, and we got ourselves a pass. Basketball. The beauty of it is, yes, you take the first quarter today, competitive, really good first quarter of basketball for both teams. This is going to be the way it is throughout the 18-game Pac-12 conference season. And when your net rankings are already so high and you beat up on each other, the chance is, is nobody's going to drop that far. And a nice steal out of the game from Sarah Rose Smith. She collects the ball and... Well, the sixth steal of the game for Colorado, and that is why right now they are neck and neck with Utah. How about Kendall Weta on Peely? So talk about a mismatch. She gets her to the back. Beating the eyes of the offensive player. Utah so good offensively. And able to read those eyes and take it away. Nine points off a turn. So one point advantage for the Bucs. 18-17 here in the second quarter. That's going to be over and back. So Foreman... Peely just blows right by. You have to respect her three-point shot. She's guarded by bigger defenders that aren't used to being on the perimeter, but she leads the nation at 56% from deep. Sherrod bustling her way through, finds a wide open to me. Foreman looking for that three. She has not had a lot of open looks. One of the sharpest shooters in the nation. Peely wide open look. She got it on the court here at the CU Event Center in January last season and got that upset win. Shot clock at three. It didn't hit the rim. Von Lee's going to take a three. And <laughs> you talked about her range earlier. Doesn't get it there. J.R. Payne said that she thinks that Sarah Rose Smith is much better than what she's played early. She's been nagged by injuries. Healy turns and goes with her left hand. 15 now. Okay, th that was ridiculous with her left hand by Peely. So on the other end. Answering and answering quickly, which is when Colorado's at their best. And a whistle. Vieta just flipping it off the glass. But Vieta, look at this. With the English, she's a lefty. Just spinning it up there with her right hand. Already with a career high in steals. 
Can't get the three-point play converted. Weta charging in. Out to Maddie Rose. She finds herself three-point range now for Weta. Goes baseline. Traveling underneath and a cutting Whitaker goes strong off the glass. Good connection. The cut by Whitaker. It looked like Weta might be stuck on the baseline, but popped free. How about McQueen? Just missing there, but cutting through every which way. Inside to McLeod, what a coming over to the right wing. McLeod going to work and gets it in. Giang backing in, Nolan turns in an offensive board. That was huge for Utah. And their second chance points they get. The Buffs are going to try and make some points happen. Deja Young, the one getting that matchup on Sherrod. The bigger athletic defender. Weta goes to her left. Sherrod for three, and she connects. Threes per game, but yet to get one. A short. Smith coming down, but how about Vieta in the fight? Takes the ball right away. And Peely putting on the moves in the middle. She gets stuck by Whitaker. Sherrod picks the ball up, one pass back in her hands, and now she's running straight towards the youth, sand the glass. Ball knocked around, and back to that fast-paced action we saw when the game began in the first quarter. Three-point attempt coming, and in and out for Kennedy McQueen. There's a foul. She's not even six feet tall. But the way she uses her size and leverage, that leverage and power combined with the quickness, a foul about 86 percent free throw shooter for Sherrod and she has been and her quickness has been a huge factor quicker to advance the ball on the pass than the dribble and we'll see where they want to go what i'm putting the pressure on Vieta will take the shot and she doesn't get it short at the rim for colorado jr Payne has to be really Happy with the fact that Quay Miller played just three minutes free to form and scoreless, and they're tied right now with Utah. They, they have not played as well as they are capable, and so we'll see if they can get it going. Vonley was limited too with foul trouble as she gets the bucket. Yeah, the two in foul trouble connecting there for the first points as CU takes a two point advantage early in the third quarter. Trying to answer on the other end. Get it to Peely, who leads with 17. And there's Sherrod. Right in the mix. The steal and the finish with the roll. <laughs> that was the easiest one she's had. It barely went in. That happened because the double team came to Peely. Inside of Peely, she turns and faces Von Ley, And that is a rare shot for her. Van Foreman held scoreless. She's trying to find her first points. And up and under won't work. Four on the shot clock. Sherrod pulls up just beyond it. <laughs> Young dribbling around out to Peely. She faked the shot, drives the lane back to Young. Deja Young with five. That is such good execution. Good ball movement. Sherrod on the other end, of course. She has been electric, just red hot. Peely. Off the iron, and Aronette Von Ley with a board. Foreman, she's going to drive for three, and she connects her first points of the day. Frida Foreman leads the Buffs in scoring, and she's now on the board. The stop on the other end, and then quick offense. Doesn't go as fast break points, but that three ball was before the defense had time to set. Deja Young. Nice feed to Sadler, one bounce, and... Can't go in. It was a high percentage look, though. Just wouldn't drop for Sadler. There was ball movement and patience on that possession. Peely picks up her dribble. Bounce pass inside and off the glass. But now a key moment as J.R. Payne takes her three starters off here before the first quarter break. 11 turnovers now for Utah. And to me, a Sadler missing. Whitaker reaches in and... 
Yeah. They can breathe there, so this is a big moment for Colorado. They had good production off their bench in the first half. They had a conversation with the refs. Thought possibly was over the back on Whitaker on the mismatch. Peely just goes straight into Whitaker. Wrestled. I mean, you're just talking about nine kids trying to see the tattoo on the right leg for Peely. The 21 points now for Peely. Jumper. Can't get the roll, so Foreman still cold, minus big three she hit a little bit earlier. Utes drill by one, inside. And nice off the glass and put a stop to it. Frida Foreman pulls up, that's short. Weta tries to get in there for the boards, it ends up in the hands of Peely. Utes have made three of their last three field goals. And they keep it rolling. Build the lead here. Nice feed from Peely. She has the assist in the second half, but Peely leading her like a quarterback that just throws it into space and knows where the receiver is going to go. 10 0 run for Utah. Go for their last five in terms of field goals. Smith changes that. Doesn't miss, whether it's in person or at home. And Sarah Rose Smith has not missed today. A steal and connected on the other end. How about 11 off the bench? And those points have been big for the Buffs. Remember, we talked who is going to step up to go and provide production with the Stars. And Smith has been into Kendall Weta. And out to Aaronette Von Ley for the miss. And with no Peely on the floor, the Utes come up short in the last possession. Wide open underneath. Missed assignment leaving Johnson open. She's had a couple of buckets in the third quarter after scoreless in the first half. And a big one there for Utah to tie it up. Utes five of their last six from the floor. Ernette Von Ley almost got the ball taken away from her to Sherrod. In and out. And what a shot. Kendall Weta. Tamia Sadler gets it in for the buffs. Coy Miller's been quiet. She's been in foul trouble early. And that one's stuffed at the rim. So great defense. And the takeaway, speaking of defense, from Sherrod. That goes out of bounds off the buffs. Wilkie brings it up. Vieta picked up her dribble. The freshman and Reese Ross had... Early foul trouble, back in the game with two fouls. Wilkie takes a shot and she connects Ooh. for three. Big time for the Utes to go back on top, 52-51. Uh, we missed it because we were in the replay, but Colorado ripping a turnover, getting a bucket by Weta, but the made three-pointer for the answer by Utah. This game has been good. Real good. Weta again doesn't get the roll. And this crowd is really into it. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Utah looks for the last shot. They were tied at halftime and just about tied right now. Any closer it would be. Nice feed from Peely. She has the assist game going on. And Lonnie White with seven as the buzzer goes. 30 minutes into this game and a three-point advantage for the youth. And a game that has been really high-level basketball. This has been entertaining. I am having a blast. And it's going to come down to these final 10 minutes, which is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Who is going to make the big plays here in the final quarter? We are ready for a fun finish here. The last 10 minutes. And Utah, of course, goes it to their scorer. And Alyssa Peely, and she does it again. Just bouncing off that contact to create an angle, and now the turnover. 23 points for Peely. Can she make a three? No roll there, and everyone going for it. Biggest lead for Utah. Inside to Von Ley, and Von Ley just muscled it right in there, but they're going to call an offensive foul. But it was the right call by the letter of the law. Peely with great defensive positioning. And 
Those two have been going at it in the key. McQueen for three. How about it? And that was a tough three ball. Difference maker being Alyssa Peely. Let's see who else can make a difference here. Eight. 30 to go in the fourth quarter. 59-51. Utes lead. Miller inside. Tavon Lay and down by eight. You've got plenty of time with eight and a half minutes to go. And limiting basically everybody besides Peely. And that's how Colorado's going to get back in this game. It's going to be with that defense and forcing, forcing turnovers. Aaronette Von Lay joins Jalen Sherrod and Sarah Rose Smith in double figures for the Buffs. And it felt like an easy way to the basket for Vieta. Wide open look. She has six points. Inside to Von Lay off the glass. No stop in her game. Peely on the ground, knocked around, and it's going to come up with a white jersey. Buffs take the ball, put it in the hands of Sherrod. Here comes the speed. Stop and pop. Got it. If Peely can't get right and back in for the Utes, of course, their leading scorer at 23. Someone's going to have to step up offensively and falling short. Native of New Zealand has had an impact defensively today for the Buffaloes. What up top to Sherrod. Sherrod's been hot. She wants the ball in her hand, and she's going to take it all the way in. She'll draw a foul. She's that quick and can get in there to draw a contact. So I lead the conference in assists with 165 of those, and today she's doing that and scoring points. Missed the second, and it comes up with Utah, but here come a swarm of Buffaloes. They get it across in time, and now... She's playing hot potato. Get it out, and Vieta backs it up to the corner. That's going to be a long lead. Colorado's defense speeding up Utah in that possession. Just Utah felt, I think, relieved to be able to relieve that pressure in the backcourt and even get a look. Feet inside to Vonley. They're going to have a size advantage if they utilize it, and that's short. It's going to be over the back. Our officials just making sure they get the call correct. Got to do that in a tight rivalry game. 61-58, Utes lead. There's a really good officiating crew today. Young picked up her dribble. Johnson off to Wilkie. She drives the lane. Scoops. Can't get the roll. Here comes Jalen Sherrod. Changing speeds. Straight to the hoop and in. Three-point opportunity coming, and a foul call on Deja Young for her fourth. She is absolutely electric. Nobody can keep up with Jalen Sherrod. Just look at her turn the corner and get all the way to the bucket, and one. And her bench loving it. Good news for the Utes. Alyssa Peely just checked into the ball game. Both teams exchanging heavyweight punches on this top. 15 matchup, top 12 matchup in the nation. And this game still in the balance. Tied up, six to go. This is good. 11th time we've been tied up. 61 all, 27 points for Jalen Sherrod. And another attempt at a takeaway. It's going to be a jump ball in the possession. Arrow belongs to the home team. And you can't even hear the whistle. It is so loud in here. A rare mistake by Peely to get ripped and that is the hands of Kendall Weta. The quickest hands came in as a freshman to earn Pac-12 all defensive team and that time ripping a pair of the strongest hands in the nation. Buffs working it around. The hot hand has been Jalen Sherrod today. She ties a career high with 27 points and plenty of time left. What a feat to Weta. Weta throws it up and gets the foul call. Vieta picks up her second. Ability to read where the other one needs to go. And what a run by Colorado. 10 63-61. Peely again left the game for a couple of minutes. She gets stripped there. She's a little slow to get up and trailing. Buffs have numbers. Whitaker goes to work. And now... Lots of buffs going for the basketball. Utes trail by two, and they've had a scoring drought that's lasted close to four minutes. Young trying to stop it with the drive, but way too aggressive over the hoop. 
Sherrod with the speed and a wide open lane. This has been a fantastic run by Colorado. They go to Peely and an air ball from her. The speed of Sherrod coming into play once again. This time she passes it off to Aronette Von Lake. And it has been Sherrod again. The quickness in the open court. The versatility that the buffs are going to cause havoc with in the Pac-12. They have a multitude of scoring threats. Just five made threes in this game for Utah. They average 13. Feed in. That's a great. That was a gorgeous. A dime just dropping it into a bucket for Peely, who was left open. That ended a five. 93 total assists on the season so far. Think about that. And she's been dropping dimes. Been huge for them through the course of injury. Von Ley missing her second. 67-63. The free throws are going to be big here down the stretch. Driving right in and trying to will it on the fouls will become important for Aronette Von Ley. That is now four for her. Behind the bucket as she shoots these free throws. Two-point lead for the Buffs. 67-65. Sherrod creating space. Inside. Aronette Von Ley goes at Peely and she stuffs her. Six with the buffs. Back inside. Von Ley off the glass. 16 for Aronette Von Ley. Half of those coming here in the fourth quarter. Peely for three. Long rebound. Goes the offense. It's Sherrod right there to take it away. She read that so well. Johnson had no idea that Sherrod was going to be behind her and just rips it from her cold-hearted. Four steals for Jalen Sherrod. Turn and shoot. How about it? Von Ley. Her facial expression never changes. She is so steady for her team, and she's at 18. Sherrod right in the mix of things again. And guess what? That is Buffs basketball. Under two minutes to go in the game. Buffs are going to work it around of 71-65. Sherrod at the key. She cannot be stopped. 31 points for Jalen Sherrod. Has been everywhere. A total menace with four steals and forcing many more turnovers. Lynn Roberts frustrated. Wants to see the Utes get back into this. The three-pointer would do that in and out. 5 of 18 from 3 for Utah in this game. The defense for Colorado has had an effect on that. Bonley to Sherrod. Drives her left, switches to her. Young to the corner. McQueen got stuffed. A tip there for the Buffs. And it started out almost two months ago with a victory against the number one team in the country. As they continue to knock off teams, all games have been decided by 11 plus points and look exactly where we sit here Elise 11 point advantage for the buffs a total run after falling behind by eight in the fourth three-pointer coming that misses and the long arms of Sarah Rose Smith gathers it in and Lynn Roberts will say no foul and this crowd on their feet in appreciation what a performance by Colorado Nice little moment from Sherrod and J.R. Payne exchanging smiles as they talk through it. It's going to be a second separating the shot clock and the game clock. And I love the fact that the ball is in the hands of Jalen Sherrod. 34 points, 4 assists, 4 steals, and the engine of this Colorado team. Jalen Sherrod cracking that intense face into a big smile with 1.1 seconds left in this game. Utah will get the ball in and that is all she wrote in Boulder. Oh. The number eight Buffaloes beating their rivals from Utah.